We're going to show you how to play mod in Minecraft with your friends, and if this video helps you out, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. Now, first things first, we actually want to close out of Minecraft because everything's done pretty much out of game until we start playing in the future. Next, we want to go to here. This is our website. It's linked in the description down below, or just Google Minecraft Forge Download. But once you're here, scroll down and click the Download Forge button to go to this page. This video is for 1.21.8, so we want to come to that version on the left-hand side. Click under Download Latest and click Installer, and you will be taken to here. Now, don't click anything on this page. Don't trust the download buttons here. Just wait about 10 seconds and click in the top right the red Skip button. Once that appears, click on it, and you will be downloading the Forge Installer where we can save it. I would also recommend going ahead and getting Minecraft mods. The two trusted sources for that are Curse Forge and Moderinth. Both are great when it comes to getting mods, and you can get them from either. Just make sure when you're getting mods that you filter for Forge and the 1.21.8 game version. So let's go ahead and grab Xero's minimap here. And then once we've clicked on it, we can go to Files, and then we can find that 1.21.8 Forge version. Right here it is. Click the three dots and click Download. The download will begin after a few seconds, and while this is downloading, I do want to mention that the easiest way to start a mod in Minecraft server is actually with our company, Simple Game Hosting. You can check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, and the best part of Simple Game Hosting for modded servers is you can easily add mods to your server and even one-click install hundreds of mod packs. The server is up 24-7, 7 days a week, and there's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, so don't struggle to host a Minecraft server. Start your modded server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown on .xyz sgh. Now we can also download mods on Modrinth. This is another super popular mod platform. And again, we'll want to filter for Forge and 1.21.8. Now at the time I'm recording this, not a ton of mods are updated. The update literally just came out. But we can go to Simple Voice Chat here, for example, and download this. We want that Forge 1.21.8 version right here and click download. Now with everything we need downloaded, we can actually start off by installing Forge locally and getting our mods installed there because you need to install mods locally in order for them to be able to be used on the server. So anyone who joins the server needs their mods installed in their Minecraft folder as well. So to do that, we first would need to install Forge. So go ahead and double click on Forge. If this doesn't work for whatever reason, you need to get Java linked in the description down below. It's in-depth guide and super easy. Just click download here and then download the Windows installer and it will install just like any other program. You may also need to run the jar fix which we have this guide as well on that. Nevertheless we can now go ahead and minimize the browser again if you needed Java and now we can click on install client and click OK and this will now install Forge. Once that's complete we can just close out of it basically by clicking the OK button that will appear. There it is we can click OK it will close out of that and now we need to install these mods. So let's open up the Minecraft launcher really quick and you'll have a Forge installation. Just come over to installations here and find that Forge installation right here it is. Click the folder that appears on it and then copy and paste from your downloads folder your mods. In our case that's Xero's minimap and voice chat but this will work with any mods you want. Just select them right click and copy. And then we want to go back to the Minecraft folder here, and there is a mods folder. If you don't have one, just go ahead and make yourself a mods folder, right like so. And then paste in this mods folder those mods you wanted to install. In our case, these two, but this will work for any Forge mods you want. Close out of that, and now we can do the server side of this. Because you've got this installed, you can go ahead and play Minecraft, make sure things are working with Forge if you want. But we can go ahead and get the server started. By the way, your friends are going to have to do what we just did as well, so go ahead and send them this video and get them started on that with your mods you're adding to the server. Now with that being said, go ahead and open up the Forge installer again. Right click, open with Java, and once the Forge installer is open, we want to click install server. This red box is going to appear, click the three dots in the red box, and then click on desktop on the left hand side. And then right click and create a new folder and title this folder Forge 1.21.8 Server. Select that new folder you created and click open. The red box should disappear. Click OK and now it's going to install everything you need into this Forge folder for getting your server up and running. This is the message you'll get when it's complete. Click OK and you can delete the Forge installer. Now we need to go to the desktop and we'll be able to see that we have this Forge 1.21.8 server. Right here it is. This is what it will look like when it's first installed. Go ahead and double click the run.bat file. This will attempt to start your server, but it's going to fail. If you have any issues here, go look at the Java stuff we looked at earlier in the video because that will fix it. Nevertheless, we should now have an eula.txt file. So open that up and let's agree to the ULA. EULA equals false to EULA equals true, T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Click File, Save, and now we can double click on that run.bat file and your server will now start. 
Now you can also add mods to your server at this point. To do that, you would just add them to this mods folder here. So again, we're gonna take these, we're gonna right click, copy them, and then go back to the server, and then into the server's mods folder, right click and paste. And you've now added mods. Now if your server was starting in the background, I would always recommend stopping it by typing stop here, hitting enter and closing it. And then after a few seconds, you can press any key to continue. And then double click the run.bat file again, and your server is now going to open up and your mods will be installed. We can also play Minecraft using Forge and join the server. Now right now you're the only person that can join the server, but let's test and make sure everything is working by adding the server with the server address localhost. When we click done, it will resolve and we can double click to join on in. Now, Xero's minimap is active in the top right and we can also see press V to set up voice chat. Now, with that being said, how do your friends actually join this server? Well, for your friends to join, you will need to port forward. There's an in-depth guide on port forwarding linked in the description down below, and there's also a guide on your screen right now. It's our video guide on port forwarding for a Minecraft server. Go check that video out, and you will then be able to allow your friends to join this server. It goes over everything you need to know from start to finish, and it works on vanilla and modded servers. Nevertheless, if we did help you out, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. We will see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.